That's, that's very fascinating. Uh, when living in the streets and you actually, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, those uh, dogs are fighting and, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, you relate to them even when you are in that situation. Yeah, and I still, even today, then and now, I still understand why would you do that. I just, you know, I mean, at times I feel like you should be, whoever fights a dog, don't throw them in a pit and see how they like it. <laughs> huh? Let people gamble and bet money up and see if you're going to die. <laughs> That's very interesting. You know, uh, I mean, now you proposition. Know how it feels, you know, get there, go in the, you know, get hit a few times with a baseball bat. Do you have dogs at your house? Uh, I mean, uh, you do. How uh, many? Of course, Hercules and eight more, so a total of nine dogs. And how do you get along? Well, I mean, they're like kids. Mm. But they're not. Do they ever grow up? With, huh? Do they ever grow up? Some of them do. A lot of them don't. Let me tell yeah. you something. Uh -huh. But it, it, if. They're like kids. If they're together, one's getting paid more attention to the other, no. there's some trouble. But you know how to stop it. You know what goes on. If someone asks me, oh, Shorty, your dogs never fight. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. But I know how to stop it immediately. So it doesn't go into some freaking melee. But in the most part, they get along. And they're, they're jealous among each other. They're, they're, some of them don't want to be hanging around. Hercules doesn't like hanging around two of our dogs. They like, get away from me and walks the other way. So it's like a, like a high school pack. Like, exactly. Oh, we're, the, you know, we're the jocks and you're the nerd. You know, I'm like, <laughs> and it's kind of funny just to sit there and watch each independent personality. But also, uh, being a kid, they're very honest with their uh, desire, with their needs. I mean, they, they, they don't cover up, they don't lie about it. Here's the thing that people always ask me, he goes, you know, Shorty, you're not married. I'm like, yeah, there's a reason for that. Okay. One, I enjoy my, you know, my man cave, which is my entire house. Two, I enjoy the lifestyle that I live, which I get to travel the world. And three, you go home to your dogs, the only bad thing going to happen is when they help Pete or on the floor, right? You go home to your girlfriend, you don't know if she's sleeping with another man. She'd have took all your money or robbed you for everything in your possession in your house. Hopefully she'll do something other you know, than that. I mean, and yeah. we've all been hurt by yeah. humans in uh -huh. the past, mm -hmm. in some way or another. And there's another reason why I bond with the animals so much, because like you said, they're a kid, they don't do well mm -hmm. intentionally. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see sometimes you go in my house and like, they're all like in the side of a corner. I'm like, what? And I'm like looking around the house, what happened? Oh, there's half the catch torn up. Okay, you, you know something's wrong. You walk into a room and exactly. you just know, like, uh -huh. and then you start yelling at them and it's like, they all run there and tell on the other one. The one sitting by itself is the one that did it because they all. <laughs> yeah, they're very honest. They like, okay. can't lie, like can't, can't cover. That yeah. way, you, know. you look okay. guilty. Yeah. So if someone out there uh, thinking about having a pit bull and still have issues, still also not sure, what would you tell them? Before you even think about getting a dog, pit bull type dog or whatever, you need to research of the breed that you want. Mm -hmm. Because each breed is different. A pit bull can be on a farm, it can be an apartment building. But are you ready for that high maintenance dog? Or if you live in an apartment, are you ready to walk in an hour a day, every day, so it can get all that negative energy out of its system? Mm -hmm. So it's not terrorizing people or tearing apart your furniture. Are you ready to give that long 14 year commitment? Are you gonna have a thousand dollars left to the side just in case the dog gets hit by a car while you're walking? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for that? And if you have a slight indication of any of those, you don't need a dog. But if you are, you need the you're going to be the happiest person because you're going to have a friend. I wish we could have him for longer because yeah. you know and I don't know we lost our dogs. Mm. You know, I lost two last year, so it's, uh, it's, a tough, it's made easy. No, it's, it's one know, of them. It, it, it's just a good thing. If people, you know, and again, adopt. Go to these shelters. Help them out. Don't go to these puppy mills. Don't go to these pet stores. Puppy you mills. Know, I mean, that's all they do is, yeah, you know, breeding and them. Breeding them, and half of them have genetic defects now because of the way they're bred. And you're, you know, you're employing somebody to sell a puppy so they can make more. It's just a matter, of, so they use it as a toy, you know, whatever yeah. it is. But, uh, tell us about the, the pet. Uh, the Pet the Expo here in Minneapolis, You're coming all the way here, we're glad to have you here. First time in Minnesota, I've been around the world, haven't been in Minnesota, so first time. Hopefully we get to see a couple things. Uh, it's tomorrow at the Minnesota Convention Center from 10 to 6. Bring your family, bring your dog. 
you're allowed to bring your dog, bring your uh, shop. This is it, bring. probably the only expo you can yeah, bring your bring dog. Your dog. Uh, it's free admission. There's so many things. We have vendors bringing all their products here. There's a costume contest for both the dog and the human. Musical chairs, there's you know speeches, there's uh, karaoke to win dog food. I mean, you can get your dog's DNA done here to find out the history of your dog. A lot of people think they know what their dog is. They have no idea. Yeah, the breed. Yeah, it's just you can get every breed from all the really? way to the ancestors. Because we don't know ours. We think he is uh, like a beagle and uh, a yeah. kangaroo. So, <laughs> he jumps and yeah, he looks they, like a kangaroo. And they have nine dogs in it. You just don't know. I mean, we've done a couple that actually surprised us before. So, well, know, How do they do it? I mean, they, uh, they swab the inner of the mouth and uh -huh. they... Send it and you get a full report. Kind of report, you know. So and it's it's a good thing. I mean, it, it brings the families people here. Well, we hope uh, success, and we're glad to have you here. And uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Shorty Rasi, in a, in a, a pit uh, dog advocate, spent all his life uh, talking about him and improved their image. They have a very bad image in this country and everyone across the world coming here to town and the pet ex uh, expo here in downtown Minneapolis in the convention center. Bring your dog and come and visit with us. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Salaam alaikum and God bless you all. Post 9-11, many Muslims felt scrutinized by their neighbors. This is the story of a Muslim American family and how they discovered that by adopting a dog, they could integrate into this Minnesota community. We wanted a dog and after 9-11, we were all depressed and sad and upset and it seemed like 9-11 overwhelmed everything. Typically, Muslims don't like dogs. Ahmed would need to be persuaded. Dogs are uh, looked at as animals that should be outside of the house. Once you touch uh, an animal or a dog, uh, you need to wash off uh, before you go to yeah. pray. Ahmed's family had different ideas. They wanted a dog. My daughter and I said, we're going to go get the dog. And then we got in the car and went. And we drove an hour west and we brought home Oliver, a little tiny ball of Oliver. <laughs> After some adjustment, Ahmed and Oliver became close friends. Neighbors came to know Ahmed as Oliver, the name of his dog. <laughs> Everybody that has a dog is a good dog, is a good guy. They met regularly at the dog park, and soon Ahmed became acquainted with his neighbors. Four, yes. Four. 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 After 9-11, you know, I used to you walk to a street or walk to a library or a, a supermarket and people look at you, they just don't know what to do. You know, should they say hi or call 911? Uh, but now when you have Oliver with you, they just right away, I mean, uh, they are, you know, you are, a, you are one of them. You know, you join the tribe, you join the civilized world. It's and, like you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. You're okay, you're okay. Mm -hmm. I've never seen somebody happy to see me like uh, Oliver. I mean, it's, it's nice to know when you get home, you're going to see somebody at least one, one uh, uh, be excited to see you.